So hey guys, so I was going to show a video on how to fix this Poland Pro 42cc chainsaw. Um, but as you can see, I smashed it against the tree. The reason that um, I was going to be, I was going to post a funny video of me smashing it and everything, but kind of got carried away and um, just slammed it against the tree a couple times and threw it across the yard. Um, as you can see, even though I smashed it against the tree, um, it's still in. It was, it was brand new. Okay. Now, the reason I smashed it against the tree was because I came to do a quick five-minute job cutting a couple branches, and um, I couldn't get the damn thing started. Now, this thing is brand new, but I've only used it twice, okay, because the first time I used it, it worked fine, and then the second time I went to use it, it wouldn't stay on, it wouldn't start. Brought it to Home Depot like three times. They said that, oh yeah, it starts when it's warm. Well, fucking winter time, dude. I need to fucking start in the winter. Um, I think I spent like 150 bucks on this thing. Um, this is like the third chainsaw that I bought from Home Depot. Okay, and I take care of my tools. Um, and I have them stored away and everything. I always clean them after I use my tools. And this is an unreliable piece of shit. Okay? Don't buy this fucking chainsaw. Don't buy any $150 chainsaws from Home Depot. Because you'll get one or two uses out of it. And you have to bring it in, get it serviced. Because I got this thing serviced three times. Okay? Only used it twice. I, you know, I, I keep it just in case I have an emergency. But whenever I have an emergency, it's useless. It won't start. If it does start, it won't stay on. Fucking chain comes off all the time. This It's just a piece of shit. My best advice is just to rent one. Okay? And then get a fucking electric one if you have to. But do not buy this piece of shit. Alright? Save your money. Alright, guys. Um, this helped. Click like or subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.